In this video, we're going to talk about how to multiply two numbers using the box method. So for the first example, we have 56 times 49. Now, this is a two-digit number, and this is a two-digit number. So we need to create a box that's going to have two columns and two rows. So those are the two columns, and here we have two rows. 56 is 50 plus 6. So we're going to break apart the two numbers like that. 47 is 40 plus 7. So now let's multiply 50 by 40. What's 50 times 40? Well, here's how you can do that. 4 times 5 is 20, and then just add the two zeros. That's going to be 2,000. Next, we have 40 times 6. 4 times 6 is 24. If we add the 1 0, we'll get 240. To get what's in this box, we need to multiply 7 by 50. 7 times 5 is 35. Add the 0, that becomes 350. And here we have 7 times 6, which will give us 42. Now, to get the answer, we need to find the total of what's inside. So let's add 2,000, 350, 240, and 42. The order in which you add it really doesn't matter. So in the first column, we have three zeros plus a two. That's going to be two. For the second column, we have five plus four, which is nine, plus four, that's 13. We're going to write the three, carry over the one. Next, we have one plus three plus two. That's going to give us 6. And then for the last part, we could just bring down a 2. So 56 times 47 is 2,632. Now, let's move on to the next example. So we're multiplying the two-digit number by another two-digit number. So we need two columns and two rows. So let's create our box. And now let's expand these numbers. 76 is 70 plus 6. 29 is equal to 20 plus 9. Now let's multiply 20 by 70. 2 times 7 is 14. Add the two zeros, we'll get 1,400. 20 times 6. If you have six $20 bills, you have $120. 70 times 9. 7 times 9 is 63. Add the zero, you get 630. And then 9 times 6 is 54. So now let's add the numbers. So we have 1,400, 630, 120, and 54. In the first column, all we have is a 4. For the second column, we have 3 plus 2, which is 5, plus another 5, that's 10. We're going to write the 0, carry over the 1. 4 plus 6 is 10, plus 1 and 1, that's going to be 12. So we're going to write the 2, carry over the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. So 76 times 29 is 2,204. So that's how you could multiply two numbers using the box method of multiplication. By the way, for those of you who want access to more related video content, feel free to check out the links in the description section. So if you click on more, you'll find other videos on addition, subtraction, different forms of multiplication and division, fractions, mixed numbers, decimals, and some other stuff as well. So feel free to take a look at that when you get a chance. Feel free to try this example. What's 453 times 28? Feel free to pause the video if you want to try that. Now the first number is a three digit number. So we're going to need three columns. The second number is a two digit number. So we're going to need two rows. Now whether you choose to have a box with three columns and two rows or three rows and two columns, the answer that you should, the answer that you will get will still be the same. So here are the three columns. 
and two rows. 453 is 400 plus 50 plus 3. 28 is 20 plus 8. Now let's multiply. What's 20 times 400? 2 times 4 is 8. If we add the three zeros, we get 8,000. 20 times 50. 2 times 5 is 10. If we add the two zeros, we get 1,000. 20 times 3. 2 times 3 is 6. Add the 0, you get 60. Next, we have 8 times 400. 8 times 4 is 32. Add the two zeros, you get 3,200. And then 8 times 50. 8 times 5 is 40. Add the 0, you get 400. And 8 times 3 is 24. So now let's add these numbers. We have 8,000 plus 3,200 and then 1,000. Next is 400, 60, and 24. So in the first column, all we have is 4. For the second column, 6 plus 2 is 8. For the third column, 2 plus 4 is 6. And then for the last column, we have 8 plus 3 is 11, plus 1, that's 12. So our answer is 12,684. Feel free to try this one. Multiply 26 by 159. Now, 26 is a two-digit number, so we could use two columns, and 159 is a three-digit number, so we'll use three rows. So we have two columns and three rows. So you can also do three columns and two rows. Your answer will still be the same. 26 is 20 plus 6. 159 is 100 plus 50 plus 9. So 100 times 20. 1 times 2 is 2. Add the three zeros, we get 2,000. 100 times 6 is just 600. Next, we have 50 times 20. 5 times 2 is 10. Add the two zeros, you get 1,000. 50 times 6. 5 times 6 is 30. Add the zero, you get 300. And here, that may look like a 9. For a second there, I kind of thought it was a 4, but it's actually a 9. 9 times 20. If you have 9 $20 bills, you have $180. 9 times 6 is 54. And now we just got to add the six numbers in the box. So first we have 2,000, then 1,000, and then 600, 300, 180, and 54. In the first column, we just have four. In the second column, five plus eight, that's 13. We're gonna write the three, carry over the one. One plus three is four, plus six is 10 plus one, that's 11. We're gonna write the one, carry over the other one. And one plus two plus one is four. So the answer is 4,134. For those of you who want to quickly access my math and science video playlist, feel free to check out the website video-tutor.net. You'll find playlists on algebra, geometry, trig, pre-cal, calculus, general chemistry, organic chemistry, physics, statistics, and other topics as well. And you can also access my final exam review videos on this website, in addition to my test prep videos. And there's some other links that you can explore here as well, so feel free to take a look at that when you get a chance. For the sake of practice, let's work on one more example. Go ahead and multiply 176 by 284. So we're multiplying a three-digit number by another three-digit number. So I'm going to use three columns and three rows. Here is going to be the first column and the other two columns. This is going to be the first row, the second, and the third. 176 is 100 plus 70 plus
plus 6. 284 is 200 plus 80 plus 4. So let's begin by multiplying 200 by 100. 2 times 1 is 2. Add the four zeros, we get 20,000. Next, 100 times 80. 1 times 8 is 8. Add the three zeros, we get 8,000. And then 4 times 100 is just 400. Now, 200 times 70, we're going to put that entry here. 2 times 7 is 14, and we have a total of three zeros, so we're going to add those three zeros. This gives us 14,000. 80 times 70, 8 times 7 is 56, add the two zeros, you get 5,600. And for 4 times 70, 4 times 7 is 28, add the zero, you get 280. Now, 4 times 6, we're going to put that entry here. Actually, no. 4 times 6 belongs. We've got to put that there. 4 times 6 is 24. I meant to do 200 times 6. 2 times 6 is 12. Add the two zeros, we get 1,200. That belongs here. 80 times 6. 8 times 6 is 48. Add the zero, you get 480. Now, we need to add the nine numbers. So we have 20,000, 14,000, 8,000. I'm putting it in descending order for those of you who are curious. Next is 1,200, and then 480, 400, 280, 24. So in the first column, we just have 4. In the second column, 2 plus 8 is 10, plus 8, that's going to be 18. So I'm going to write the 8, carry over the 1. Here we have 2 plus 4, which is 6, plus 4 is 10, plus 2 is 12, plus 6 is 18, plus 1 is 19. So we're going to write the 9, carry over the 1. 1 plus 5 is 6, plus 8 is 14, plus 4 is 18, plus 1, that's 19. So we're going to write the 9, carry over the 1. 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 4. So the final answer is 49,984. So that's how you could use the box method to multiply two numbers.